Good morning children. Hope you are all safe at home. Today we are going to learn about vocabulary from unit 7. Here the vocabulary part is divided into three parts. So before entering into the deeper section, just observe the words on the screen. Rise, which means to grow or to come up. The example is the sun rises in the east. And there is another word also rice, which means the food we eat. Rice is the staple food of our South India. And there is another word tail which means a story. Dear children, hope uh, you all will enjoy with Jataka tales more interestingly. And the, another word is tail which means an outgrowth of any animal. Here chimpanzees have long tails. So dear children, Hope you have observed carefully. Are they confusing? Yes, there are some words which are pronounced in the same way but they differ in their spellings and in their meanings as well. So today's topic is about the words which often confuses us. Here let us go through a systematic way. The first part uh, is synonyms and the next is homophones and homonyms. These are the words which make us always confuse. So let us go into the deeper section. So dear children, what is a synonym? Have you heard this word? Yes, let us go through it. A synonym is a word or expression which means the same as another word or expression. In other sense, a word having the same or nearly the same meaning as another word in the language. Example here sad or sorrow. Here both are the same Meaning, these words give the same meaning, but the usage in the contextual is different. And downcast also, it's almost equal to sad. And another word, joyful or happy or delight. All these words give us the similar meaning. And mountain or hill, both convey the same meaning. So let us go through the examples so that you might get clarity. Here is a word wage which means a wage is a monetary compensation or remuneration, personal expenses, labor paid by an employer to an employee in exchange for work done. And here another word is their income, which means money received especially on regular basis for work or through investments. So dear children, here the word wage or income both convey the same meaning which is related to money. But there is a slight difference between them. Just go through the examples. My friend works for daily wages at supermarket. Here the wages is paid or given on an hourly base or it is paid per day also. But when coming to the investment here you can see the example 
he had good income in his business which means that it is an yearly income here one point is there to observe that though the words convey the same meaning but their contextual usage is different here their meaning changes according to the content and context so let's see another example inherit which means to receive from an ancestor as a right or title descendable by law at the ancestor's death in other sense it means to receive from a parent or ancestor by genetic transmission and let us see the another word acquired which means buy or obtain maybe it may be an asset or an object for one self or to learn or development develop a skill a habit or quality here both give the same meaning inherit and acquired but there is a slight difference between them so let us go through the example she has inherited her mother's good looks here we can say that it is an inherited which means the genes carry some sort of qualities from mother to the younger generation but when coming to word acquired here it is an skill or maybe habit or we can buy also buy in the sense buying any property or skill in the sense by learning a good handwriting skill if you observe here example it will be cleared he has acquired a skill of beautiful handwriting here also the words inherit and acquired both gives the same meaning but their usage in the contextual content is different now let's see another example mix which means a group of people of different types within a particular society or community here we can take another example as make or prepare cake by combining various ingredients so let's see the definition of mingle to bring or mix with something else usually without fundamental loss of identity so dear children here you may observe that both words mix and mingle gives the same meaning but let's see the differences in the examples here example for mix is depressed people may mix their words another one stir well until sugar and milk mix with with each other here you can observe that once sugar and milk are mixed up they can't be separated and let's see the example for mingle in this pandemic period it's not good to mingle with too many people hope it might be clear for you by going through the examples now let's move to another one here if you observe there are set of words which give the same meaning uh, you can take as uh, with uh, start the synonyms for start are begin commence and initiate all these words convey the same meaning start and sharp it also means that bright brilliant and intelligent all these words may be taken as synonym for sharp and coming to lazy it may be idle lethargic and indolent all these 
words give or convey the same meaning for lazy and another word is their true which gives or which conveys the meaning genuine factual accurate or correct and real so all these words convey the same meaning as the word true is conveyed and next word is hard working and diligent and industrious these words also convey the same meaning as hard working and next word is introvert introvert means or conveys as shy may be quiet or bashful all these words convey the same meaning for introvert now let's get into the second part of our topic that is homophones let's go through the definition and its meaning homo comes from the greek word for same and phone comes from the greek word for sound therefore homophone means same sound and we use it to describe two or more different words with same sound but with different meanings and different spellings now let's go through the definition words that have same pronunciation but different in spelling and in meaning words like pair pair and cell cell dear children so now let's get into detailed part let's see the first word days d a z e which means it's a state of confusion or seeing constantly and another word d a y s days which means days in calendar these two words you might have heard it very commonly but just observe here the way of pronunciation both are same and see the spellings and their meaning as well for example she dazed at the stars in the sky and the second example is these days people are staying at home so children you have to keep in mind that the pronunciation part is same but the spelling and their meaning is different now let's see another word b o a r d board which means a flat piece of wood another word b o r e d board which means lack of interest example we use blackboard in the classroom and see the next example she got bored during the social class here also the two words are pronounced in the same way but they differ in their meanings and spellings as well so next let's see another example b u y by b u y which means to purchase and let's see another word b y e which means uh, it's an informal way of saying goodbye so to get the clear clarity so let's see the example part i need to buy a gift to my friend on his birthday and students say goodbye to friends after their school hours 
So here also both the words are pronounced in the same way but they differ in spelling and their meaning. Now let's see another word break B R A K E which means a device for slowing or stopping the vehicle. And another word B R E A K break which means an interruption of continuity. To get the clarity, let's see the examples. He applied the brakes to stop the car. And the next example is, you have a short break after two periods. Here also the words are pronounced in the same way, but their spelling and meaning are different. Let's see some more examples. G R A T E, great, which means to cut into pieces. And another word, G R E A T, great, and its meaning is large in size or degree. You observe the pronunciation part. Next word is here, H E A R, here, which means to perceive with. Our ears. And next word is H E R E here. Its meaning is indicating the place. And next word W H O L E whole, which means entire, all of, or complete. And next word is H O L E whole, which means a small gap or hollow place. Some more words are there here. Let's see. B L U E blue. It's a color. And another word B L E W blue. It, it meaning the meaning is to blow air into balloon. Now let's see another word cell. C E L L cell which means an electronic device or the smallest unit of life. And there is another word with the same pronunciation S E L L cell, which means to give away something in exchange of money. And the next word is DEW, D E W, DEW. And its meaning is water droplets which are seen in the early morning in winter season. And the next word is dew, D-U-E, dew, which means obligatory payment or fee. So children, hope you might have got some clarity regarding these homophones which have the same pronunciations and but they differ in their spellings and in their meanings. So now quickly let us get into the third part of our vocabulary part that is homonyms. Dear children have you heard about homonyms? Yes let's see its definition and their importance. The words with same spelling or pronunciation but differ in meaning and their origin. Yes, here the word, the spelling and the pronunciation is same but the only difference is there in it in their meaning. For example, bat and bat. So here the sound and the spelling is different but the, the meaning is different. Here the first bat it means an animal whereas the second bat it's a toy to play with. And let's see its definition and its importance. Homonyms are important because these words look alike and sound alike but they completely differ in their meaning. It is important to pay attention 
to the context when reading so as to not to misinterpret what is being actually said or conveyed in the context children it is very important to keep in mind that these homophones convey different meanings in different contexts so we need to keep an eye on these words so let's see few examples the first one is match m a t c h match which means a game and next same spelling m a t c h match which means to coincide or to go in pair here to get the clarity we have to see the examples part in the first word cricket match was cancelled due to heavy rain and in the second example her fingerprints match those found at the scene of the crime here you can observe the word match which are in the same pronunciation and the spelling part is also same but the meaning is different in different contents and the next word is bank b a n k bank which means a place where we can deposit money or jewelry and the second word b a n k bank which means the land beside or edge of the river here if we see the examples you can get the clarification the first example is uh, here i will go to the bank today which means that it's a place we can get transactions regarding the money money transactions are done in the bank it's a place and the second bank is see the example children enjoy playing with sand at river bank so this is also a place but it is on the edge of the river so let's see another word r i n g ring which means an ornament to wear and another ring r i n g ring which means a type of sound coming from bell here go through the examples my friend gave me a beautiful ring and the second example is children come out when the bell rings so if you observe here the ring is pronounced in the same way but the meaning is different and another example letter l e t t e r letter which means alphabet in a language and another letter l e t t e r letter and its meaning is written or printed communication so see the example here b is the second letter of the alphabet and the second example is there's a letter for you here the word letter is used in different way its meaning is different in the two examples though the pronunciation and the spelling part is one and same so let's see few more examples w e l l well and its meaning is an area where we can store water and another word w e l l well which also means to be in an organized manner a good or satisfactory way here the words are pronounced in the same way though the meaning is different and another word right r i g h t right which means a direction to move on and the second word r a g h t right which means true or correct as a fact and morally good and the next word is rose 
R O S E rose which means a type of flower and the second rose R O S E rose it which means it's the past tense of rice it's the past tense word of rice let's see few more K I N D kind which means generous humble in nature and there is another word kind k i n d kind which means various types or different collection and another word date d a t e date which means a date in a calendar and another date is which means a type of fruit or desert fruit and another word park p a r k park which means a place to play and another word p a r k park which means a place to stop or give rest to the vehicles dear children hope you might have got clarity regarding the words which have which are pronounced in the same way and the spelling is same but their meaning is different so those words are known as homonyms okay now let's revise once again what we have learnt in today's lesson in today's class so first we have covered what is a synonym so synonym is a word uh, or the words which differ but they convey the same meaning in different different contexts and the second part is we have covered what are homophones so homophones are the words which have the same pronunciation but they differ in their spelling and in their meaning for example s o n and s u n sun and the third part we have covered what are homonyms so homonyms are the words which have the same pronunciation and the same spelling but with different meaning so for example fly and fly so uh, hope you might have enjoyed today's lesson and now it's your turn to make a list of your own uh, regarding the synonyms homophones and homonyms thank you children